Hey y'all, welcome to Faithfully Bound. In this video, I would love to continue working on this Bible quilt journal with you. Today, I will be doing Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Let's look at that verse a little bit more in depth. Proverbs 17, 22 is a timeless wisdom that emphasizes the power of a positive mindset. It doesn't directly tie into the prophecy of Jesus' birth, but it does offer a relevant perspective on the human condition, which is central to the Christian narrative. Here's how Proverbs 17.22 relates to the broader biblical context, including the birth of Jesus, humanity's brokenness. The verse acknowledges the great impact of a crushed spirit. This aligns with the biblical understanding of humanity's fallen state, marked by sin, suffering, and spiritual brokenness. The promise of healing. The verse also highlights the restorative power of a cheerful heart. This echoes the central message of the Bible, which is God's plan to redeem humanity and restore us to wholeness. Jesus as a healer. Jesus, the central figure of faith, is often portrayed as the ultimate healer. His birth, life, death, and resurrection offer hope and healing to a broken world. Through faith in him, we can experience spiritual renewal and emotional healing. While Proverbs 17.22 doesn't directly reference Jesus' birth, it provides a valuable insight into the human experience and the transformative power of hope and faith. It reminds us that even in the midst of life's challenges, cultivating a positive outlook can have a profound impact on our well-being. I am doing this different type of journaling for the Christmas season because I wanted to make sure that I focus on Jesus every single day. So every day I'm doing a verse in the Bible quilt journal. After I fill up this page, I'll make another page and we'll just continue going until Christmas day. Usually the way I have celebrated this in the past has not been Jesus centered because most of my life I was not a living believer like I did not live my life according to the Word of God and go to church and do all of the things that I'm supposed to do I just kind of lived out here in the world and I was like yeah I believe in God but that was about the extent of it but now that I'm older and I'd like to think a little bit wiser I want to make sure that I focus on Jesus every single day because that's what's important it is not important to think about Christmas trees and decorating with the lights and all of that that takes away from Jesus it takes our minds away from what is really important and I don't want to do that I have made a promise to myself that every single day of this holiday, I am going to focus on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to keep my mind in it every day, and I don't want to let my mind stray to all of these secular things that we do for the holidays. I'm so glad that y'all were here and did this video with me. I hope that you are doing this along with me, or if not, you're making sure that you're focusing on Jesus for this Christmas season. I love you guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, y'all.